if your kids turned out to be very polite and respectful and righteous and even great at school, that does not necessarily indicate you are the best parent. And your brother or your neighbor whose kids turned out to be bad kids, they are lousy parents. It is simply, it simply means that your test is not in your children. If your wife is kind and loving and caring and romantic and she does whatever you want, does not mean, does not necessarily mean that you are the ideal husband. And that brother who has a very bad wife is giving him a hard time, he's a horrible husband. It is simply, your wife is not your test. You have not been tested with your wife and vice versa for my sister. If you are making so much money from your business and uh, you're very wealthy, that does not necessarily mean because you are a shrewd businessman, smart, you know how to do it. And the brother who tried so much and failed, he's a lousy businessman. It is simply your test is not in your wealth. What is the point? The point is, my brothers and sisters, all that is required from us is to try and to try very hard in raising my children, in treating my parents, in treating my wife, in doing business, in the masjid, everywhere. Try your best. That is all that required. The fruit, the result is not in our hands. The result is not in our hands. If we see it, alhamdulillah. If we don't see it, alhamdulillah. So don't go around, judge people. Look at his kids. What a lousy parent. Be careful. Allahi, from my short experience in life, no one made fun of anybody else except he was tested with the same thing. You make fun of that guy because of his child was on drugs or in alcohol. They don't know how to raise their children. Their children turned out to be on drugs and alcohol. You made fun because look at this guy, he is pretending to be a good righteous man and his wife and his daughter do not wear the hijab. You do not know what is going through with them. You have no clue what he's going through. And you are immediately <laughs> think that you are the best man. Your test was not in your wife, his test was in his wife and in his child. So no one assigned me or you as a judge, no one. So be grateful for what you have and make dua for the others that do not have what you have from the bottom of your heart. And the true happiness and the true success is when you and me accept, accept whatever Allah decrees. Wallahi, the utmost happiness is when we accept what Allah decreed. I wanted to marry this woman. I prayed istikhara and it did not work out. Allahu Akbar, Allahumma lak alhamd, ya Rabb. Because that was the decree of Allah. It's always great for me. I wanted to move there, I wanted to open that business and it did not work out. Be happy. Opening that business and moving there and marrying that person was your choice. Not happening was Allah's. Who has a better judgment? Who knows the unseen? Alhamdulillah. We will live very happy because I, again, I keep repeating, I tried my best. I don't want somebody to leave from this short reminder that, you know what, I shouldn't do anything. It's already decreed. No, no, no. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ عَلَيْهِمْ وَكِيلًا Even the best man ever created, Allah told him, because he was, Rasulullah is so kind and loving and caring, and he wanted everybody to become a Muslim, right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ عَلَيْهِمْ وَكِيلًا You're not their wakil, you're not responsible if they believed or not. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا مُبَشِّرًا وَنَذِيرًا Your job, ya Muhammad, imagine this is the job of Rasulullah to give them the glad tidings of Jannah and warn them about the hellfire. That's it. If they believe, Allahu Akbar, if they do not believe, this is not, you're not going to be punished. 
So similarly, we try our best in our business. We try to seek halal income. We try our best to raise our children according to the Sharia. We try our best with wisdom, not with haram, 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 haram. And I say, wow, what happened? You know, everything has the right method. We try our best and we leave it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Maybe we will see the fruits now and maybe we won't. And alhamdulillah that Allah did not hold us accountable for guidance. Otherwise, imagine I saw a brother that does not pray. I have to keep talking to him until he prays. Imagine I, have, I saw a brother who uh, is uh, drinking. I got to stay talking to him until he quits. No, no, no. I have to advise gently, kindly, wisely. And that's it. This is the best I can do. But if he stop, if she stops, they started praying. Alhamdulillah, this is all from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I'm not in charge. So, ya akhwan, do not go around and judge people. She's bad. He's good. I'm the best. Wallahi, nothing happened except with the tawfiq of Allah. If you're coming to the Fajr, this is from tawfiq of Allah. If you attended Isha tonight, tawfiq from Allah. If your son is 17 and he's, telling, and he's still telling you, yes, Baba, yes, Mama, this is tawfiq from Allah. If your daughter is 16 and she gets up and prays without you yelling 600 times, this is tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you are making money, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, and you are not in need of others. This is tawfiq from Allah. If you have a righteous husband, righteous wife, this is tawfiq from Allah. All of it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I am being tested to see, am I grateful for this ni'mah or I am not? May Allah make us all from the shakirin, make a lot of salat on Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and we'll see you tomorrow, inshallah, at Fajr at 6.15. Salaamu alaykum. قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ خَاشِعُونَ وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنِ اللَّغْوِ مُعْرِضُونَ وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ لِلزَّكَاةِ فَاعِلُونَ والذين هم لفروجهم حافظون إلا على أزواجهم أو ما ملكت أيمانهم فإنهم غير